Hey guys, Tech Control with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your iPhone internet speed faster. So let's get started. So there's a couple things you can do in order to tune your iPhone speed so you get the most optimal performance and the highest speed possible. So first thing you want to do is put your phone on airplane mode by pulling the control menu here, put on airplane mode just like that and turn it back off and does a quick a network refresh as you saw Wi-Fi and cellular data will be refreshed so if you have that issue it will fix it for you and you can also go into your setting turn it on that way and turn it back off and it's simple and easy nice trick to refresh your network now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is go into your settings cellular and under data options here for cellular you will click on uh, data mode now to get the fastest speed you can allow more data on 5g it will give you the most amount but keep in mind if you do use that if you have a data plan the charges it will charge you more if it's based on per usage but if you have unlimited 5g is the best way to go to get the maximum speed on your iphone for cellular data now along with that is if it comes for your wi-fi you can go into your setting of your wi-fi click on your wi-fi itself and you need to ensure also that if you have low data mode turned on for some reason you need to turn that off and it should be turned off by default but also check that out and the next thing you want to check out on your phone setting is go into the setting this time we're going to go to safari and we're going to go down here and we're going to do a clear of our history and website data over time if you use safari for a very long time all of that data is just sitting there in the cache which can slow down your speed whenever you're browsing so i recommend is clearing it out all time history and along with that if you can close out all of your tabs for the best optimal performance so you can start fresh and clean again it will work the best and that way if we open up safari this time it will be all cleaned out for us and we should not see any performance issue when it comes to browsing the internet now the next thing you want to do in your iphone setting here is Go back to the main setting here and then this time we're going to general and then go to background app refresh and now if this is turned on for you you need to turn that off as you can see here i have this turned off already the reason why that is is that if you have a bunch of apps using the internet at the same time it will clog up the speed and then the bandwidth that you get and you won't get the best performance for the app or safari that you're looking for so you need to turn that off and after you have done that, the next setting you want to check out in your iPhone setting here is under App Store here. If you have automatic a download turned on, you need to turn that off. Same with app updates. Make sure those are turned off so that they're not causing any issues on your iPhone. Along with those is cellular automatic update. You want to turn that off as well. So these three settings should be off so that they don't try to download apps in the background with especially if you have lots of app it will take up internet speed from actually being able to do other stuff along with that the next thing you want to check in your settings is under battery here if you have low data mode on you need to turn that off and usually that gets activated or you turn it on by accident when the phone is under 20 percent and the other thing you want to keep up your control center here check your battery percentage and the best way to get the most out of your internet speed is making sure your phone is charged over 20%. Once it goes under 20%, iPhone slows down the internet and a lot of other things to save battery. So make sure you're charged up in between 20 to 80% for the maximum speed that you can get on your internet. Now, after you have done all that, it's time to go ahead and force restart your iPhone to give it a nice fresh reboot. So in order to do that, we're going to press and release the volume up followed by volume down and then hold that side button until the screen goes completely black so i'll do volume up volume down and then i hold this side button make sure when you do this you press volume up and down quick one after another in order for this process to work if for some reason siri activates that it means you didn't press volume up and down quick enough and as you can see here the screen went black i'm still holding the side button and then i let go once i see the apple logo and that is doing a forced restart which shuts down the phone completely reloads the code so if there's a software related issue impacting your phone it will fix it for you and this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will be saved but from time to time you want to do this in order to get the best performance for your iphone now the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iphone and it's time to go to uh, general here all the way down here transfer reset iphone click on reset and you want to do a quick network reset which will reset 
things like connected Wi-Fi that you have connected it so you have to reconnect any Bluetooth connected device will get reset now this is only the settings themselves so your personal data will not get deleted like photos videos apps and such will take about a minute or two to do but again a really effective way to make sure you're getting the best internet speed possible on your iPhone now the next thing you want to check under your settings general again so back to settings right the general under BPN management you want to ensure that if you do have a BPN on you need to turn the BPN off because BPN also reduces the speed because it has to go through the BPN so if you can try to turn off the BPN and the next thing you want to do on your iPhone is in your settings here go to general software update and see if there's a software update out especially if you're running a really older version of the iOS sometimes it can it can reduce the speed and functionality so go ahead and update your phone and make sure when you do update your phone your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged or connected to a power adapter and charger and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes to successfully install the update finally after you have done all of the updates it's time to do an internet speed test which you can do by going into your safari and then type in internet speed test and run a quick test on your wi-fi or your cellular data if you're using cellular data just turn off wi-fi but basically you want to verify that the speed test you're doing here is the matches the speed that you bought your plan from from your either wi-fi or your cellular data and if you see that there is not getting you the same amount of speed that you bought the package you need to contact your provider that provides your internet and ask them to take a look into it so that maybe they can do something on their end to fix that problem for you and after doing that they might be able to do a reset on their end or toggle some settings to make sure that you get the best internet on your iphone so i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time